A symbol is falling. That's uh, where all started. That's where the revolution started, Dera, 2011, when uh, a bunch of teenagers went and wrote uh, anti-regime graffitis on, on the walls of the city. They were arrested, they were tortured, and when they were released, that's when the people went to the streets uh, to protest against the, the violence and the tyranny of, of the regime. Seven years later, what's left from this revolution? Um, many rebel control cities were uh, besieged. They were forced, people were forced to evacuate. It all started in Daraya in 2016. Then there was Aleppo, then there was Homs, then recently Eastern Ghouta, and today it's Dera. Uh, what, what's terrible for the people who went peacefully uh, to protest against Bashar Assad uh, back then is to see not only um, their pockets of resistance being emptied up, but it's also seeing um, let's say, the, the, the memory of the revolution being erased. And when you, you, when you see these pictures coming around, I mean, it, it's, uh, it means erasing uh, uh, the local council, the local councils, the, 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 the schools that were built in basement, underground, the uh, field hospital, the newspaper projects, the radios, libraries, everything is erased. Every symbol or mini sign of uh, self-government and uh, attempt of creating a sort of a, a laboratory of democracy. Is that gone for good? Is that the end? Is Assad won a total victory? Well, it's, it's a victory over the peaceful revolution, but I don't see it as a victory for Bashar al-Assad. Uh, he's winning thanks to Russia and thanks to Iran, but without his allies, he, he wouldn't be anything. And it doesn't mean that he, because he's conquering and recapturing um, rebel areas that he has uh, won over the control of the whole region. I mean, we got, they got rid of Daesh in Raqqa, but Daesh is reorgan, reorganizing. Uh, you have other jihadist groups on the ground. There is uh, HTS, which is uh, uh, a retransformation of Al-Qaeda. So the, the war is far from being over.